Rob Fletcher back here at the Mike Francois Classic with Shomo Das, first place, first place in? Welterweight bodybuilding and first place in Classic Physique Class A. Two number ones and coincidentally, his trainer is Brian Hodick. He's bringing a lot of winners into the circle today. Yeah, absolutely. We got a great team, a great culture, and you know, Brian's able to quickly spot out talent and you know, really help get us to our full potential. And I met Brian last year and it's been crazy to see the transformation. How, how long have you been uh, competing, Shomo? I did my first bodybuilding show in 2013, actually. I was 19 years old. 19 years old. Wow. And so you've met Brian, so you, you're, now you're on your journey. What's the most challenging part of your journey to this point? Um, I think the most challenging part of my journey, when I started bodybuilding, I was a college student. Uh, I was studying biomedical engineering at Duke. And when I graduated, it was a, a, a kind of a lifestyle change because I started going into working full time and adulting, so to say. So, you know, being able to integrate this with your lifestyle and being flexible with it, um, you know, has been something that I've definitely had to work on. So I'd say the time management piece. But that being said, bodybuilding being such a huge passion of mine, I've always made the time to make sure that I can, you know, make myself a better athlete. So you sound like the type of individual like there's really a no off season, maybe not going a full 110% mode, but when it's kickback time, you're not really, you know, sucking down the, uh, the case of beer, the potato chips and going to the other side. Yeah, I, I never take an off season, man. And that's something that Brian kind of drills into our head. These shows that we're winning, there's really no secret to the success as a team. We, we approach every single day, whether it be off season or in season, at 110%. And we win shows six months out, and that's really where the process starts. Brian started prepping me for this show, and we're getting ready for my first national show, Junior USA's next week. So we that could, prep started six months ago. So we could hashtag, there is no off season. There's no off season on Team Hoydick. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> and I believe you. So in one sentence, describe your trainer, Brian. Uh, he's very flexible, uh, communicative. I don't really think there is one word. He's, he's very uh, he's very receptive to the athlete. He himself being an IFBB pro okay. knows what it's like. He walks the walk. He knows what it's like competing, and he knows how to make those adjustments. So I think that that's critical. Okay, so now we're going to narrow it down. We're going to put pressure on. One word to describe your trainer, Brian Hodick. Muscular. <laughs> All right. Well, there I'm we saying that because he's right back there. There, there, there we go. <laughs> well, uh, and the role the role of, of Brian has been critical, obviously. So Absolutely. your advice to others looking whether they're uh, looking to compete on the world stage or compete in their first bodybuilding event or just looking to get in better shape. What advice would you give in regards to a trainer? With regards to a trainer, find somebody that fits your personality. And, and a trainer and a, and a diet coach and a prep coach can lay out a plan for you, can lay out a blueprint for you. But what I need you guys to do is to, you know, really think big with this. Because when I started bodybuilding, guys, I weighed 85 pounds in high school. I was getting stuffed in lockers and stuff, and it's crazy winning bodybuilding shows now. And Wait it's a been, minute, Joel. You know, really? Yeah, I weighed 85 pounds, man. They, now, seriously, that's a whole new topic. We're going to extend this interview. <laughs> this took a whole new version. Yeah. Is that a real story? Yeah, I weighed 85 pounds, they I remember. So they stuffed you, so bullying was an issue. Yeah, I remember I, uh, I joined the football team. One day I came back to my locker after practice, and somebody peed on my clothes. I don't know if that's appropriate, but yeah. That's all right. I, I was we're, kinda, raw. we're rolling. Raw, we're good. rolling. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to make a change. I wanted to, um, you know... Be empowered, take control of my body, take control of my fitness. So I started going to the gym. And how old were you at that point? I was about 15 years old then. That's gonna have. So you were a, a victim, so to speak, of bullying. Right. To a, to a point. And so now I can imagine it's had a tremendous impact on you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You know, your your will to overcome adversity and challenge. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it wasn't just that like I wanted to get big and get muscular to be more intimidating, so I didn't get picked on. When I was dealing with this struggle, and I know a lot of people out there right now deal with that, whether you're being, you know, marginalized due to your, you know, race, size, whatever it might be in 2017, you know, I, I, for me, fitness was a vehicle to empower myself to not just take control of my fitness, but take control of my life and prove to myself that, you know, when I set my eyes on the prize, I can go out there and I can make this happen. So for all of you, I want you guys to, to dream big, but more than that, keep that dream in mind and, and be consistent day in and day out. And I can promise you that if you're consistent day in and day out, if you have a good plan in front of you, you can take any of your goals as far as you want, man. This was an awesome interview. So listen, pay attention, apply the guidelines and the rules that Shomo set forth. Find yourself a great trainer. Look to where he once was. Look to where he is now. Look at the confidence. Number one on the stage. You heard it right from the voice. Shomo Das.